Hello, my name is Jane Fong. I'm a real estate broker from Enso Realty. I specialize in commercial real estate and residential investment. Um, if you like this video, please click on the bottom left here to like the video and also subscribe to our video series. Today, we are going to talk about how to create a website without hiring anyone to help you. Um, you may be wondering how come a lot of my videos are very technically uh, related. First of all, I think that as an entrepreneur, you should be able to do a lot of these skills yourself so that it saves you thousands of dollars. It's right? something that you can easily learn and um, be able to just do it would be priceless for your business, right? It's really good for um, lean startup. And second of all, I actually was in IT for 20 years. So that's why I'm really into the IT professional things. So now today we're going to create a website um, using Google Sites. There are a lot of options out there. You can use like Wix.com or, you know, Squarespace. Um, tons of options out there, but Google site is definitely completely free. And if you have used any Google Docs or any Google um, slide before, then you will have no problem using Google sites because the concepts are exactly the same. So what do we do is we go to sites.google.com and just log, log into your Google account and you have access to Google sites immediately. If you look at it, then you can see that there are a few templates that you can use. Like for example, these are some really good options. Right? It looks pretty good. Select whichever one that you like. Okay. So in our case, I'm just going to go with this one. I like the baby. And it will create the template for you. Okay. So enter your uh, website name. Okay, so of course that would be your company name. And also um, you can add a logo here or you can just change to your you know, company name. Um, and some of the pages are already created for you. Okay, so you can edit anything you like. Yeah. Okay. And okay, so you can change to whatever you want. Um, for example, if you don't like this picture, you can click on this one and upload a different picture. Okay, so you can choose from your file system. Or you can select it from some existing gallery. Okay, so for example, maybe I want you know one of these or anything and you can also change the header type so for example this one is a full banner you can change it to a so this is called a cover you can change it to a large banner then it's like you know just a big banner you can change it to just a smaller banner or you can just have title only so i think the cover looks pretty good so i'll leave it as a cover and also you see this icon here um you can adjust for different um readability so it depends on um the picture color so if your picture is really light when you do this they actually will gray it out for you so that your text will be easier to read okay but in our case our text is easier easy to read regardless of you know whether they gray out the picture or not so that's why they didn't do any changes to my picture okay and then in here you know again you can change to anything you want um, Okay, and you can change the text size, you can change the color, basically just treat it like editing a Google Docs file. Um, so you can play around with this, you know, you change these picture, um, you know, upload to a different photos. And one thing that I want to point out is like, you see these buttons here? Okay, so for these buttons, um, you can put in the name of the button so this is the name of the button and this is a link okay so right now it's linked to the page which is called family photos and there are different pages that were already created for you later on we're going to change to different page so for example let's say we are going to change to parenting tips 
Then after this, then this button will actually go to the page which is called Parenting Tips. We can also link the button to external pages. So click on the Edit button here, and let's say uh, External Pages, and let's link to My Page, okay? So this is my web page. So once it's updated, then this one is will be going to my external page. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, now let's take a look at the different pages that we have. If you click on the page icon, I mean the page tab here, then you see these are the pages that were already created by the template. We can change the name of them. So for example, we want to change this to page one. Okay, I'm very uncreative. Okay, and then if we click on this, then we will see what page one is. Okay, okay, maybe I'll just name it to something more uh, <laughs> nicer looking. Let's name it photos. Okay, for example, um, you know, you can change to whatever you want in here. And maybe for this page, the stories and updates, maybe you don't want it. You just want to say, you know, updates. And you can change the page to update. And you may be like, oh, you know, there are too many pages. What do I do? I don't want this at all, right? Parenting tips. So you have two options. One is you can just delete this. Or another thing is if you want to keep this as a backup so that later on you can modify it, you can just hide it from the navigation that it no longer shows up. Although the page is still active, right? If people know the URL on how to type the URL, they can still go to this page. However, they won't be able to navigate to it um, through the navigator navigations. And for example, this is the about page. Okay, it looks good. So we'll leave it as is. So now you have pretty much updated your navigation. Um, let's go to the theme. So in this theme, by default, they're using this, um, you know, parent block theme. You could potentially edit it if you want. So when you edit it, you can change the theme color. So maybe instead of blue, you will change to something else. Um, and then for the title header, instead of blue, you can change to pink or red or whatever. Same for the text. Okay, you can change the font size. Um, you can change the header image by default, etc. So this is how you can edit the themes if you want to uh, play around with it. Another thing that I wanted to show you is the settings. So right now, the uh, navigation is on top. You can actually choose it on the side, but these days, you know, top is uh, better looking. For the brand image, you can upload a logo for you, or you can upload, and at the same time, you can upload a fave icon. A fave icon are like, you know, these icons on the top left corner of the browser, those are called fave icon. Um, so for example, I can upload one and if you don't have one, you can actually go to some free website like this one, which is called faithicon.io, to create your own, to create your own um, icon. So, for example, I can you know use this one to create a G icon and make it pink. Okay, or make it whatever color I like. Okay, orange, and then download it. Okay, once you download it, they will send you a zip file, unzip it, then you can use, use the file. Okay, so I already have the icon uh, uh, created, so I'm going to upload it. So I'm going to upload this one. So all the icon is like 32 by 32 or 16 by 16. Okay, so you have to upload an icon of that size or else it, uh, it wouldn't fit into that little square. Um, later on, when you want to set up your own domain, you can use this custom domain and connect to it. So right now we're just going to use a uh, generic domain from sites, uh, from Google Sites. Um, this is a very interesting uh, feature. It's called announcement banner. So for example, if you have an announcement to show, you can say, I want to show a red announcement and say, um, we are having a sale today. Okay, so that's an announcement. And click me is, tell me more. 
which is the button. And the link is maybe I'll just go to one of the page. Okay. Um, and I'll choose to open it in a new tab when people click on it. And the visibility means what pages should show this announcement. Okay. So we close it. And then when we go up, then you see, ah, we have this announcement. We have a sale today. And then when we click here, then we are going to uh, go to a different page. Okay. Right? After we publish. Okay, so um, if we go back to the announcement and then we say only uh, show it on the front page, then we won't see it on any other pages other than the front page. So now let's publish it. So when we publish, we can actually, you know, put down any name that is not already conflict. Um, so let's try Jane website. It's already taken two. Right. Once I publish, then we can actually go view it. Okay, view the published site. And this is my website. Okay, that we just created. So if you like this video, please like it and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you have questions, just feel free to uh, yeah, send me an email or give me a call. I can answer any of your website's creation questions.